Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. Today we're taking a look at the Fio S5 2GB MP3 player. Um, now, right off the bat, jumping in, um, nice little retail box, a very good instruction set, pretty, pretty in depth in English and I guess Chinese as well. Um, actually, um, covers all of the functions of the unit, shows you what everything does, so I'm really impressed with the instruction set on this unit. I'm going to try to cover as much as I can in as short a period of time as I can. This is the second time I'm shooting this. My first video was 18 minutes, so let's see if we can do this in 10. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the unit on. I'll zoom in here while I do this. Nice little splash screen at the beginning there. And um, so I'm going to jump straight into the menu system here. So um, the button on the left uh, activates the menu system. So basically you would press and hold. Um, so we have music, which is your MP3 settings. You have FM radio, which does have presets. I'll get into that in a moment. Um, and we have an alarm and timer setting. You can actually set this to alarm at a certain time to play music. So you can use it as an alarm clock, or you can set it for ambient music to automatically turn on, uh, let's say, after you get home from work or something. And you want your music to already be playing for you. And with a 15-hour battery life, you know, that's a pretty nice little functionality there. Um, you do have to, the screen, you can set the time for the power off of the screen. It automatically powers off at 9 seconds, I think, by default. So you just hit any button on the unit and it turns back on there. And then, of course, you have personal settings. So first off, let's go into the music here. And it goes directly into the MP3. Let's hit play. I'm really impressed with the uh, sound of this system. Although I'm a little disappointed, the response time, let's say if you want to turn the music down, you press and hold for a second, it takes, takes a minute for that to activate. So, let's see, let me go back to my previous track here. Give you guys a little audio sample. Um, so, the system is pretty responsive. Um, for the most part, except for the volume part, it just seems to be a little sluggish to me for some reason. Okay, so that is some of my original music that I use there to get out of that YouTube copyright thing there. So, can't get me if I'm using my own stuff. So, alright, anyway. Um, the audio quality it has SRS Wow with uh, HD, SRS Wow standard. Um, it has um, user preset for equalization. You can go like rock, jazz, various different sounds like that. So there is a lot of flexibility here to get the sound that you want from the system. Okay. Um, and if your original audio MP3 track is loud enough, or you know it's at the right volume and everything then you're going to get really good sound out of this. I had one song cranked up and it pretty much filled the whole room. Um, you know, I had it turned all the way up just testing it out and it was kicking out great bass and great sound, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Now, on the overall functions here, I'll get back into the menu here in just a moment. So, on the back of the unit, we have the USB connector and it does come with the USB cable and then we have an audio connector so you can plug that in basically right there and then plug this into another audio source coming in and use this as an external speaker for that system like that so very nice little function there no audio output other than the speakers and no SD card slots like the previous model but what you give up in one area, you gain in another. So, for instance, 15-hour um, battery life versus previous battery life, I think, was eight hours. Um, the LCD screen, this allows you to select menus. Let's go back into the menu system here real quick. Now, um, so we're currently looking at one of my tracks. So I'm going to hit the menu button, and I'm going to choose local folder. Now, the cool thing is here, you can delete files 
directly from the unit, which is very nice. I like that because sometimes I'll put a mix together and decide I don't want a certain song on there. Um, it also has a recycle folder in the root of this system. So um, I, um, I haven't tested that yet, but I think when you delete a track off of here, it goes into the recycle bin. So it's still on the unit for you to deal with later, you know, if you want to plug it in or delete it from there or whatever. So. Um, sorry, I keep waiting for the time out there. So basically when you're in the menu system, if you choose local folder, um, um, okay, it currently shows me in my root folder here. Um, you can go through and select various bands. Let me try to get a different zoom a little closer here so you guys can see the menu system and stuff going on here. The screen on this thing is super reflective. I mean, it's like silver, silver reflective so it makes it hard to shoot video of it and if you see any flickering in there it's actually from the video synchronization I do suppose so um, like I said you can scroll through uh, your various uh, artists there um, I typically have either artist folders with all the music in it or I'll create mix folders and you can see some of the stuff that I have on there. So you can actually scroll through and select individual folders and play that music from the folder if you want. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the camera at a good angle for you guys. So um, you go into that folder and then you go and select whatever the album is and then you can kind of play from there. So. Now if you press and hold the button on the left hand side, that's what's going to take you back into your menu system there. And then from there, let me just go straight up to the front here. From there, you can go switch over to the FM radio. Okay, so if you press in on the menu button up there, have the FM radio going. And you can set presets on the FM stations as well. I think you can set up to six if I'm not mistaken. But uh, let's say if you're in your menu there, you hit the button on the right, it would go to channel two and then channel three. But I don't have any presets on there for myself right now. So now let's go ahead and go back into the menu system again and jump over. You have an alarm setting so that you can actually set a waking alarm. Or if you want to say you want to come in after work and you want your music to be playing when you walk in the door, you can set a timer to activate that uh, for the alarm also has a sleep timer so you can play music until you decide to go to sleep. Let's jump into the menu system right there. And I'll just scroll through the various functions there so you can see. And then the next menu function are your settings for this system. Yeah, wreaking havoc. So you have your display time, screen time. Oh, for some reason it kicked me out of there, but um, and then you have 19 different languages that you can set it for power off time, you know, so memory info to show you how full the unit is, firmware upgrade, updates, stuff like that. So, with the combination of being able to make all the various adjustments, like I said, you can pretty much make the music sound any way that you want. And, uh, Pretty nice little unit, portable, uh, pretty handy. This is, I think, the second generation in this line. The previous one was the S3, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so right now on eBay, I think the S3 goes for around 35, and this one goes for around 40. So the difference is on the S3, you have an SD card slot, plus it has audio output, so you can actually plug headphones or external speakers in if you want. So you can plug it into a home stereo system. This one, however, you cannot, but you do get the LED. Uh, or the LCD screen on the inside which gives you the uh, folder selection and all the various menu functions and the clock and all the added features um, plus a 15 hour battery life so I think it takes about four hours or so to charge this unit fully so anyway uh, just a basic review I might try to do something a little more in-depth in the nearby future so hope this video helped you guys out if you're thinking about buying one of these uh, you know for 40 bucks very good little investment I don't think you'll regret it one single bit so there you have it it's the Fio S5 mp3 player 2 gigabyte this video helped you out please post a comment if not Pogue Mahone and thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help.